Chase McCain. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sam's Love 33 here, and welcome to another episode of Stack Attack. And today we have another Hero Factory set, set number 44003, ages 6 to 12, 46 pieces, retails for $10. It is Scarox, and yep, he's one of these smaller characters from the new brand attack wave. Let's see the back of the box. Yep, gold character. He's got the Parasite, and he has 400 game points. And yep, so not much else to say. I guess we should just open it up and look at the mock pieces and then rate the mock pieces. All right, I've laid out all the pieces here for you to observe. You can just pause the video and you know look around, see which ones we get. But now let's go into a little more detail and see what exactly what pieces we get. So start with the bone pieces. We get two of these. Um, upper ones in gray, and we get six of these upper ones in black. Yep. Then we get the body piece, standard one. Doesn't have the two balls there. Next we have the armor pieces. We get four of these um, black three long ones, and two of these golden four long ones. And next we get two these uh, plain black paraka feet. No, no, you know, change in the color, just all black. Next we have the brain parasite thingamajig. Of course, it's the thing there. Uh, the axle pin there and the little pin right there. It's all flexible, rubbery, clear plastic. Next we have the body piece in black older style. Next we have two of these uh, claw pieces in translucent green. That's a nice color to have. like those. Next we have four of these golden little you know blade things for them with the two pins there. Then we have four and you know, two of these red um, pieces with the Pins, two axle pins and the one circular pin on the other side. Next we have the T pole arm, T shaped pole arm. Next we have the head piece that all these brain attack figures come with. The two sides. And then we have Scarox's face, the two fangs, the front, and then we have the hero core. Of course, all characters get hero cores, even the villains. You know, for the online games, they have the core on the back. Next, we have two of these little pull arm pieces with the uh, ball sticking out at a 45 degree angle. Then we have two of these pseudo hand pieces things. Then we have two little spikes with the one pin. Pretty common piece. And we have two of these little black pins, the two circular pins. Then we have the one, three of these ones with the one axle pin and the one blue one. We have two of these tubes with the two axle pins on each side. And, and the two regular pins on each side. And then we have the one with the two axle pins on each side in gray. And then, stop rolling. Stop rolling. We have the giant axle uh, bar with the stopper at the end. Those are the pieces we get with Scarox, and for mock pieces, of course, we need our stack bar. Can't really fit it on camera anywhere conveniently. Just put it there. Yeah, 20 Lego bricks, different colors. So, for the mock pieces, I think I'm going to give Scarox a -da -da, two. I honestly don't think there's that many different colors in the set. I mean, there's the, uh, the four of those little spike things and the green uh, uh, fang thing, and I think these might be a new color in that exact piece. That could be wrong, though. But other than that, there really isn't that much in terms of mock pieces. Most of it is pretty standard, and it's a lot of these like little pieces that are, you know... You know, just not very interesting, just common pieces that are easy to find and just kind of minorly practical. 
So I guess we should, you know, just build the setup and then see what Scarox looks like once he is built. Or she, whatever gender it could possibly be, or maybe it doesn't have one. But anyway, let's build it up and see what it looks like once it's built. All right, now that I've built Scarox up here, and you know, you can see him. Now let's rate the size of Scarox. How how big is Scarox? Is he worth nine dollars? Well, let's find out. Well, just take a quick 360 scan of him, just real quick. Um, as you can tell, his arms are really short, so that might be a deciding factor. He doesn't have the bulkiest armor, really, at all. Not much armor to be found at all. In fact, there's more armor acting as his hands than as there is on his actual body. Um, I guess the main bulk of him comes from the back, where there's a lot of kind of uh, technic pieces here. There's a lot of, you know, just a lot of pieces there. I guess there are also a lot of blades as well. But overall, I don't think he's, I don't think he's that big, honestly. I think he probably should have. Stuck with nine dollars, honestly. So, if we get stack bar out, original two bricks. Now, the original two bricks is going to turn into the uh, the newer, slicker four bricks or two bricks for this. Two plus two equals four. So yeah, don't think he's that big for his character. He doesn't have that much armor. He doesn't have the. He doesn't have very large limbs. He just has a lot of pieces in the back, and there really aren't that many pieces, so... Yeah, just just not a very big character, honestly. Alright, now time for the play value of Scarox. Now, Scarox... Um... Well, his articulation on his... His, uh, his legs are fine, of course, like they always are. Um, his... Arm, let's get to his arms last. His head... Um... His head isn't exactly... Most flexible. Um, the arms up here get in the way of it a little bit. I will say that uh, this, the brain parasite thing, probably falls out a lot more than uh, than pyroxes, pyrox and pyroxes, pyro than perox. I don't know how do you pronounce how, what the plural would be. But yeah, it does fall out a lot more. It's definitely not the worst as you can flex it a little bit, but you have to kind of get it in the right position. And if you leave him there for a while. It's gonna fall out after a while. It's just it's just not angled right compared to the um compared to the figure. It's just the head is not angled in the way that it fits in tight it has to kind of be tilted a lot and that results in it getting um projected more. But the head does still uh, move pretty well. He doesn't look down very much but I guess you could just make him look down in that with if you want to make him look down, you'd, you know, turn his body down. Um, and for his arms, these arms don't really move up very well. They move back. Uh, you don't, I don't even know why you want to move them up if you have these ones. But they, they move alright. The hands move perfectly fine. Um, and the top arms, they... Um, you can maybe be able to tell from how this is working. But they actually have a play function. Basically, there's this little lever right here, and if you pull that back, the arms detract, and then you can uh, snap them forward, and then snap this out. That's obnoxious. But yeah, you can make his arms lunge forward. And you may or may not have guessed, but these this makes it, if you want to not use that function, just have him, you know, fighting fighting and posing and jumping all around. These will flap around a lot and they'll go all crazy, which is kind of annoying. If you know you want to make them if you want to make them get like hit back or something and like, oh, arms fell back. Oh now I gotta readjust those. It's not too bad. I mean if you have his arms forward like this, usually his momentum usually usually they'll stay forward, but if you lean them back enough they'll definitely fall. Um, there are a couple ways to fix this. Um, one is to get the arms stuck behind 
the brain parasite's legs. So that way the brain parasite's legs block the arms from moving, as you can see. They can't move very far back, but then you can't really flex them very much. And now the other solution takes a little, uh, very, very slight modification, which is to take off this and put it there, there. Then these can be moved freely, and you don't have to worry about them being moved out of the way. But then this arm is a little restricted in the sense, but it's your trade-off. You want to move this one, but these ones will flap around a bunch or stay in place. Or you could have this one stay in place and these two move around as much as you want. It's your choice. Um, I personally like it like this better, and it's also better for posing. Just, you know, it's just better for posing, in my opinion. It does strain the bricks a little bit, but you can get in a lot of positions where it doesn't strain the bricks and it doesn't move around. This band-aid is really getting in the way. For those of you who noticed the band-aid and were wondering, it's nothing serious. It's just a hangnail. Those things are really annoying. But yeah, uh, I think there are definitely ways to fix it, but by default, if you just want to use a character, um, you're going to have to pay the price if you want to get his arms to stay. I'm sure there are some, like, way, I'm sure there are plenty of ways to make them stationary. It'd probably be really easy, but by the character built by itself, it's, they flop around, and it's a little annoying. I would like to make them, I'd probably make a modification, uh, a little more um, time-consuming modification if I were you. Uh, but for now, I can just put them behind his head, and they'll be fine. They'll be fine. But if you want to play with him and have them not flop around, I might, I might, make, might make a modification to him before you do that. So now for the play value, put the, I guess the weapons. You can talk about the weapons. Um... For weapons, he has you know just these four pincer things, but they can, I think they can be used to decent success. They, you know, move around they can be like, you know, the stabbing weapons, and then they can all stab at once, and they can like stick to the ceiling or whatever. And he also has the fangs, which could be used to bite or whatever. So yeah, Scarox, that's him. Now let's rate his play value. And how many bricks will I give him for play value? I'm gonna give him a two. Sorry, Scarox, a lot of twos for you. It's your lucky number, even though it's not very good. So I guess it's your unlucky number, I guess. Anyway, um, yeah, he just, it's the arms that really bug me. They just move around too much and they're just really, in. they just really don't want to stay in place and I don't like that. And yeah, and this, this falling out compared to Pyrox is Staying in place very well is annoying, and yeah, it just it just doesn't really. I don't know. It just does not play very well. I mean, he doesn't have the most amazing weapons. I mean, they're cool, but the, you know, there are definitely characters with better weapons, and Scarox does not exactly have best weapons. His are a little. Man, I'm not a big biggest fan of his weapons, uh, but the arms are the real killer for me. They just move around too much. You know, sometimes, sometimes you just want something to stay still, especially for me. I, I like think stay still more. And Scarox, you are not helping my cause of my my goal of forever making everyone stand still or stay still. All right, now time for the cool factor slash overall design of Scarox. How is his cool factor slash overall design? So I guess we should start at the bottom. Of course, he has the big feet. I think the feet are honestly a little big compared to him. Like, you know, he's got these giant, like, you know, clawed feet and then his body's kind of like skinny. Just a little, I don't know if that's a big deal. It's just a little big for me. I think they should have used the two clawed ones instead of the three one clawed ones. Those are ones a little smaller. But anyway, I also have the spike the with the golden um, armor piece right here. And then there's these uh, up here, there is no armor, and I don't really know why they have just the lower ankles armored. You know, practically that makes no sense whatsoever. You know, I think you'd be more likely to get hit with something in the thighs than the ankle. But I don't think they really care about that type of thing. And I doubt it's actual armor for, you know, this being a, like, spider thing. And, yep, his regular old body piece there, that's, uh... It fits really well, especially with all the black 
um, in here in the center a lot. It's very black right here in the center. And then these, uh, the pincer things, I definitely think the pincer things are very cool. You know, I like these, like, four-armed characters with these, like, very, like, claw, I don't know, I like this sh just shape of weapon, it's just very cool. And his head, uh, his head actually, I do like his head a lot. Uh, you can see the claws here actually go well with the, uh, the, the green claws. They are kind of arc in the same way. It's a little mix of gold and, you know, green and such. And a little bit of red thrown in there. I like the head, definitely. Very cool head. And, uh, yeah. As for the color scheme, I think the color scheme is really good, actually. The, I like how the middle is very black, and then there's, at the tips of everything, there's gold. And then, you know, some little, little blacks sprinkled around. So I like this color scheme, definitely. Gold and black, pretty good. And the green, I think the green def goes well with uh, both the colors, especially the gold. Um, yeah, the red, little bits of red back here actually do match the the, the head a little bit. Uh, so just little little sprinkles of red don't bother me really. They're fine as they are. As, as it was a combination of how and has. You know, as and how. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, as for... Just where they, just what they did with him. Uh, I don't really understand the uh, how these, why these are open, especially with the ten dollar price tag. You know, it's just these really skinny legs. Everything else is, well, I guess everything is a little skinny. But this, this part down here with this added spikes and then have these little skinny things. I don't really understand that. Looks a little odd to me. And then the back, um, this, it just looks odd for like, especially if this is like a actual creature like a, with a, I could understand this for like a robot but it looks like giant like mechanical like really old style technology like you know they don't have the capacity to contain all this and cover it up so it just looks open to get off the parasite for a second but it's just this like mess of things parasite just tries to cover it up but it doesn't really succeed it's just really odd looking in the back I don't really particularly like that, honestly. Um, what else did I not talk about? Mm -hmm. As I said in the Pyrox video, um, I I wish the uh, the head would kind of go on to uh, the the face mask thing would go on, and then you could put the parasite on that if you wanted to. Not that you had to have the figure with the parasite on it, because you really can't make these figures without the parasite, because they have like open eyes and. My head is all open here. It just looks and look right. Or at least make like another piece that could look like the brain parasite or something. I, I don't know. I just I just don't like how they make it all. It has to be with the parasite because you know characters need more depth. Um, also, this little this little thing right here. This um, that sticks out literally. It just sticks out. It's not on the other side. It's not symmetrical. It's just this big bright flashy red lever that you pull and you stab. Just sticks out, does not look right at all, honestly. Keep it, keep this is his good side. I mean, keep him facing this way. That's not his good side, because there's this big red thing right there. What's that about? What's what's that? I don't I don't get that. Uh yeah, I think that's uh I think that's about it. If we can put him here and get our six bricks from before. And for cool factor, I am going to give Skirox a three. So you get a total of 9 bricks out of 11, and yeah, the cool factor, he just doesn't, he looks, I think he is a, it was a good concept, but there's a lot of, like, glaring flaws with him. Uh, I, I don't know, I just, he just doesn't, it just, work, it just doesn't work for me, honestly, there's a lot of problems with the, like, the back looking all mechanical and the big red lever and open legs here, but I, I, I think they could have worked on this guy a little more and made him definitely better and probably a little more bang for your buck if you don't want to mean a little bigger you know a little small for ten dollars added more armor or such things and overall he's just kind of not very good character all around um he's not exactly the greatest to play with you know he doesn't have the greatest pieces and he's he's just not a little small i don't, I don't honestly think this is a great figure not one of my favorites from this series honestly i definitely recommend getting one of the uh, either Pyrox or Ogrim before this guy, and of course the heroes, a lot of those are better than him as well. 
it. I shouldn't be calling it a him because I don't know if it's a him or a he or a she then just said male twice, whatever, I don't even care. Yeah. Uh, Skarox, not the best character, but he does look cool. And if with some modifi modifications, he definitely could be a lot cooler than he is right now. So yeah, that's going to do it for Skarox. I'll see you guys next time for Brain Attack reviews where I look at uh, Ogrim. And if you're wondering where the review of Speed of Demon is, um, I still don't have Speed of Demon. There's some kind of shipping error or something, I'm sure, and hasn't not come yet. But I will be reviewing Speed of Demon, and for the next Breakout review, it will be Ogrim. So, yep, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys for more Brain Attack and Breakout in the future. Later.